Welcome back again, guys, to Ian e Learning Hub, where I'm going to go through and explain the solutions for question three from the 2021 CSEC Electrical and Electronic Pass paper. So let's begin. Part one of E. It says identify two non renewable sources of energy used by power generating stations. All right, so the first one, nuclear energy. And the second one is coal. So those are the two non-renewable resources. All right, so let's move on to part two. So it says, identify two renewable sources of energy used to generate electricity. So the first one, solar energy, and the second, wind energy. All right, so that's it for part two, and that's it for part A. Let's move on to part B now. It says, state two types of internal losses in a power transform other than eddy current losses. All right, so the two types of losses in a transformer other than eddy current losses are copper loss and hysteresis loss. All right, so that's it for part B. For part C, for part one of C, it says, describe how eddy current losses in a transformer may be minimized. All right, so eddy current losses can be minimized by using tin sheets or lamination, and they should be in parallel with the magnetic field. Now, the sheets should be insulated from each other as well. And this can be done with varnish or oxide film. All right, so that's it for part one of C. So let's move on to part two. It says, draw a simple sketch to show how three single phase transformers may be connected to form a three phase star transformer. All right, so each of the coils here, so we have one, two, three, by, by themselves, they are single phase transformer. But when they are joined together, they form a three phase transformer based on the connection here. So this would be classified as a star connection or Y connection transformer. All right, so that's it for part two of C. All right, so let's move on to part D now. It says for a given series RLC circuit, where R equal 33 ohm, C equal 10 microfarad, L equal 50 milli Henry, V equal 75 volt, and F equal 200 hertz. Calculate the impedance of the circuit. So that's part one of D. Now, before we can calculate the impedance of the circuit, the first thing that we have to calculate is the inductive reactance and the capacitive reactance. So based on part D, we are given the resistance, which is 32 ohm, the capacitance, 10 microfarad, the inductance, 50 milli Henry, the voltage, 75 volts, and the frequency of 200 hertz. All right, so inductive reactance is equal to two pi FL. And that is two pi times 200 hertz times 50, times 10 to the negative three, that will equal to 62.83 ohm. So that's the inductive reactance volume. And next up, capacitive reactance. Xc is equal to one divided by two pi Fc. So we're gonna write the denominator first. So it is two pi times 200 times 10, times 10 to the negative six. That will give us one over 0 0.013. So one divided by 0 0.013 will equal to 76.92 ohm. And that's the capacitive reactance volume. So now that we have both values, we now have to determine which value is greater. And by looking at the values, we can see that the capacitive reactance volume is greater than the inductive reactance volume. Now that will dictate the formula. 
So seeing that XC is greater than XL, impedance is equal to square root R square plus in bracket XC minus XL square, which will give us a square root 33 square plus in bracket 76.92 minus 62.83 square. That will give us the square root of 33 square plus 14.09 square. That will give us square root of 1089 plus 198.5. And that will give us a square root of 1287.53. And that is equal to 35.88 ohm. So this is the circuit impedance. All right, so that's it for part one of D. So let's move on to part two now. So it says to calculate the phase angle of the circuit. So when XC is greater than XL, tan theta is equal to XC minus XL divided by R. So that is 76.92 minus 62.83 divided by 33. That will give us tan theta equal to 14.09 divided by 33 equal to 0 0.427. Therefore, the angle, which is theta, is equal to tan inverse 0 0.427 is equal to 23.1 degree. All right, so that's it for this question.